Alrighty, we got a two-parter here. We got this and the 11 second club. Let's play this in the fall. It's a longer piece. Say hello to Lucky Charm. This four-leaf clover is the happiest, luckiest <laughs> little charm by far. When I was a kid, my dad once took me on a trip to his favorite fishing hole. It's a place called Sparrow Lake. It's the most beautiful spot you've ever seen. Say right. That's pretty cool. Let's watch this again. Say hello to Lucky Charm. This this is your mostly voiceover. Is the happiest, luckiest <laughs> little charm. All right. So I think the big question is: Is little charm happiest, luckiest little? You can hear the giggle here. Is little charm? Do I mean you would have to incorporate the animation a bit more in terms of a bit of a luckiest little, <laughs> luckiest little. Charm. It almost sounds like a mouth closed giggle. Yes, little. And then you would have to have that little shake in the body to match that. Or you just take that giggle out and you leave it, the animation the way it is. What I would say when he says. Luckiest <laughs> little charm by far. Hmm. All leaf clover is the happiest. So the happiest. I like this. Start from the beginning. I like this. That's all cool. Maybe this is so picky, but this thing could then. I, I almost expect the moment to continue with that rotation so that it would this side would be flatter. So kind of continue rolling. This seems pretty cool. And again, this is all you all you design model rig texture. That's a lot of work. The only thing when I was watching this for the first time is that there's a slight feeling of a weird balance where it would have to be almost bent more over like it, the whole quote unquote body all of this would be more over this i feel like camera angle from here you got that and then it goes back and then here you got the clover and it would fall backwards even this here gets a bit better this feels a bit more over this but i think i will go further even this feels like this would kind of fall over it would be a bit more over this and then you have it here same thing when you get to these points i mean it's off but then you go this way so that would be fine but then we're here now i feel like we're really offset this might be too picky that's for you to decide but that's one of the things that struck me first the second thing was that it's the happiest thing alive but then once you get to here now, even like all of this feels almost grumpy almost it's big eyebrows but it's 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 not quite it's like this yet but there's almost a certain grumpiness then it's okay but then it feels very tired oh yeah, uh, i'm happy you know what I mean versus more energy some bounciness even this would have maybe a bit more of a, a, a bent arm like yeah and even this could be this and maybe stronger in its wave it just feels like that's actually a perfect frame to land on. It feels like a very, very tired four-leaf clover with arms and legs. <laughs> that's my that's my main concern. That for what it's supposed to be. I mean, it says here a friendly-looking four-leaf clover, but with the voiceover, just it just there's a certain happiness missing. Other than that, it's cute. I would find ways to your since it's from scratch if you can kind of push the asymmetry and you can have you know maybe this eye would be more close this would be a bit bigger than the other one you could have the eyebrow a bit higher than the other one giving that kind of look and and then less defaulty fingers you have a bit of grouping here but maybe something a bit more interesting or even have the fingers a bit longer just a bit stronger those designs feels a bit more like a fork and then watch that's actually cool. You got this coming up. That's cute. I love that. And you got the looseness. It still hops. Could maybe slide down a little bit once it starts moving. It's cool though. It's a lot of work. Again, my main thing is the balance of this. And just the overall feeling of... That guy just looks very, very sleepy. I'm not quite buying that it's... Let's go back here. Happiest, luckiest... <laughs> the happiest one. Then switching to this... When I was a kid, my dad once took me on a trip to... That's pretty neat. I like that you have... It's it's a cool beginning. 
I was tempted to say, what if we move the character a bit further? Everything is a bit more uh, screen left. So it's not super centered. But, I mean, even if it's just a little bit. I don't think it's a huge note. I think there's still enough empty room here. It that looks nice. Kid. And I like that there's this focus this way. And then he actually looks over to the person that he's talking Me to. Me on a trip to his favorite fishing hole. Has nice timing of kind of casually grabbing this fishing hole. This is when I went, hmm, okay, it's a distorted lens camera POV. Why not? Not what I expected, but it's not that it's wrong. It's a nice renders as well. Could work, but yeah, why not? Why not? I'm slightly thrown off by the sudden POV. But also the thing is, he picks this out, and the thing is, it would be looking down. And then that also strikes me as, okay, what is this? Because it's not really a POV because... Those eyes would be here. If he has his hands out and holds the the wallet, eyes would be here. I know I'm reading potentially way too much into this, but but it would be looking down. That means camera wise there would be more grass. Like you would home. see all of this. It would be lower. Again, throwing some crazy notes in there, but I don't know. The main thing I would say, because again, there's some really good stuff. My in dad there. once took me on a trip. It's a nice lean, this nice just separate motion on that arm. There's just enough weight. You can see as the leg goes down, the arm is connected. Every now and then, it feels like that shoulder's a bit separate. Boop, boop, right there. There's a slight feel, maybe even on this turn. I, I love that things in the body are moving. They're affected by other body parts, but I feel like that could be cut in half, the amount of movement of that shoulder. I know there's stuff in the chest as well, but I feel like we could reduce this. And I would reduce that drop in that shoulder here by a lot. That's kind of the main thing. And maybe a bit busy in the hands. That is that moment here where that thumb goes in and then back out. And even the fingers going in. I was kind of reduce that a little bit. I do like that there's ambient movement. There's a bit more life to it. This is a bit more on the naturalistic side of cartooniness but it's nice but when i watched it for the first time that was just the first thing of that something feels odd about this pov that's nice i like that little thumb swipe up this was weird so that's the first thing where i thought okay that's kind of weird a that we have to have this in frame it feels like a very stiff weird pose that finger pose if that's a word where it would be almost something a bit so angular where i would rotate this a bit higher a bit away from us soften those fingers and get away from those angles but the main thing is i would actually keep that hand like this not like that because you have i mean it's, it's a bit of a weird look of the arm down and this massive hand here i will bring that photo maybe around here ish and then you would have you know that maybe drop off around here that hand and then we have part of that arm here. Because the thing is, we've seen this. This has been established. And I'm not sure that we need to see this. This feels like a very, um, not shoehorn, but we're really trying hard to keep this in frame, if that makes sense. And I'm not sure that we need to do that. So if it's more like that, that to me feels a bit more comfortable. It's just, it's just kind of somewhat off frame but it's still there it's the most beautiful spot you've ever seen it's the most beautiful spot you've ever seen ever, ever seen. seen the scene i think could be pushed a bit more in terms of how low that jaw goes beautiful spot you've ever seen. beautiful spot you've ever seen. i like the spot beautiful spot you but there's something that's a bit too far in terms of the opening of a one frame and then it kind of sticks. I will go maybe like 70% to this shape and then use maybe 80%. And then instead of locking, you kind of continue to open and it kind of shoot out those extremes of that shape and then go back into this. The suite doesn't pop lock into a bang to that shape. That you've ever seen. And then at the end, it's a bit odd. I think it's centrated by the shadow maybe, but something weird i think it's your mouth 
and your eyebrows going up. You can see there's such a top light where I would potentially change the lighting so we don't have such a not not, not quite raccoon lighting, but just the shadowing seems a bit odd. I would give maybe a three quarter and just soften that. Maybe more front light, so it's not just not that harsh look shadow wise because you can really see how the shadow changes and it's kind of like that mouth closing going up with the eyebrows is a bit too in sync it's the most beautiful spot you've ever seen but i really like the the head accents and the, and the feel of it is nice the most beautiful spot you've ever seen what you ever seen seen he's just kind of stuck in that almost mouth pose with the corners up here a lot Spot you've ever seen so you like, i think it's okay to relax every now and then this i know there's a bit of a, a a constant smile in there because he's so happy. Ever seen. But it's it's a bit too minimal there in terms of your actual shape and keeping this up there. It's the most beautiful. But the main thing to me is this, reducing this. It also feels extremely huge scale-wise compared to this. Alrighty. That is that for me. Hold on, there's one more thing. Again, you have those eyebrows. And even the lower lids going up at the same time. It's just something very... It's like the whole facial skin, everything goes up while the rest kind of stays put, if that makes sense. That is a weird note, but I will end it on that. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.